Great. Although the news that's been coming out is so depressing, and I know I got so many emails about what's happening with Zambia, and uh, a lot of people wanted me to comment on that. Is, chi is Zambia now, you know, Zai China, Zam, Zam China? <laughs> Actually, you guys, it's not even a funny story. Um, Zambia is the first African nation to become a full c Chinese colony. And, you know, we joke about some of these things, but what has happened is really, really tragic. And I warned you guys, I warned you guys this is what was going to happen. But also, this shows you that we're closer and closer to a major global war. Because I told you, the Europeans are not going to just sit back and let China take over Africa. Now, what has happened is that uh, Zambia defaulted on a couple of loans. And so they lost their power company, Zesco, and that has been taken over by the Chinese. Their major national electricity company is now being run by China. Now, if that isn't even worse, uh, they've also lost, a few months ago, they lost their Zambia Broadcasting Corporation. It's called the Zen NBC. I think it's the Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, which is now fully owned by China. And, you know... The, the government has been denying that this is the case. They've been trying to play cute. They've been trying to play, you know, like everything is okay. But they have actually been in secret talks over how their national electricity company would be taken over. This is crazy. Do you think an African country would be allowed to run China's national electricity company? And, you know, it just shows you that China's neocolonial strategy is reaching ahead. I mean, it's reaching its climax. They've been doing this covert business for so long. And now, you know, they've got their tentacles so deep inside. They've got their tentacles so deep inside that uh, it's going to be hard for some countries to turn back. Now, what's happened is, you know, the whole strategy is they encourage indebtedness. So, hey, they come with the money. They come with the money. They give you, they give you, they give you. Then they, um, once you default, uh, they start to take over strategic assets because of failure of repayment. And you see, what China has done is they have studied countries that are corrupt. They have studied countries that, you know, that are greedy, that have greedy leaders, which is most African nations. And that's why we find most African nations are in this situation. And then they kind of have this, um, their long-term outcome is the effective ownership of commanding heights of the economy. Remember I did that thing on the Seven Mountains prophecy, um, health, economy, um, etc. You know, media, entertainment. So they come in, they give you a deal you can't refuse. They pour that money on you. They pour that money on you. They pour that money on you. And then all of a sudden, uh, they come collecting. And they're very vicious when they start collecting. And you know what? The, even the Chinese government, they know they actually have a problem in Zambia and other nations. But you know what they said? They were just like, us, we're protecting the Chinese. If your people cannot negotiate for you, if Zambians cannot look, if the Zambian government and the Zambian politicians cannot look after the entrance of Zambia, that's not our fault. But this is not going to be possible. And you know what? I was doing deeper research into this matter, and it gets even worse. Now, you know, Zambia's president was actually in China last week for the China Africa summit and I'll talk in the future about the 61 billion dollars or 60 billion dollars that the Chinese government allegedly gave to Africa with no strings there ain't no free lunch come on guys there ain't no free lunch and one of the biggest problems with all these deals that China has signed with African governments is we don't know what they've done. We don't know what they've signed away. We don't know the kind of agreements they've made because all of them were done hush-hush and behind the scenes. So all we're being told in Africa and in China is, oh, China's giving Africa money. Oh, you're getting money. Oh, they're funding this. Oh, they're funding that. Oh, they're funding infrastructure projects. But we're not told, okay... Uh, the debt repayment is this percentage, and if you pay, fail to pay this percentage, you know, you're going to be in trouble. We're not told that. We're not told what concessions have been made. In fact, I know this is not about Kenya. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit obsessive about Kenya. But I've been told Kenya, they built this crappy railway line, and if we don't pay, they're going to get one of our ports in Mombasa. Anyway, that's just a story for another day. Now, this guy, um, so President Edgar Lungu, he visited Chinese companies while he was in China. Not only have you, you, have you lost Zesco, the electricity company, you've lost your media company. He, was at, he actually had the nerve 
some of these guys, man. He actually had the nerve to go um, visiting Chinese companies and he received a grant of a further $30 million for the Lusaka East Multi-Facility Economic Zone Electrification Project, whatever that means. <sighs> so these guys can give you like high blood pressure, man. It's crazy. And um, so he, President Edgar Lungu, he came to power basically um, at Zambia signed at 8 billion, when he came to power, Zambia signed an 8 billion um, finance, Chinese loans in financing. Now, over 5 billion of this hasn't been added to the total. Now, that's what Zambia is claiming. They're claiming they haven't received 5 billion or they haven't been able to account for 5 billion dollars of the 8 billion. Although China says it was dispersed, it was released. And get this, the finance ministry um, doesn't even have the manpower to police and monitor and disburse the funds. And the financial penalties, because I told you, a lot of these deals are done in secret. We don't know. So the financial penalties of actually backing out of a Chinese deal are worse than the savings of 